question for you. Could your friends be costing you? Even if you have your finances in order, the spending habits of your friends or possibly your spouse, too, that could be rubbing off on you without you even realizing it. Cameron McCarty, VP of National Investors, is here to tell us how do the money habits of our friends affect us? Well, it, it can affect you and, and your friends, but I mean, what I'm trying to tell you is don't unfriend your friend or stop hanging out with your friend. I'm saying don't let their money habits or their money mistakes rub off on you so you make those same mistakes. Now, there are five different kinds of friends that you've broken this down to. The first one being the moocher. We all <laughs> know the moocher. Yes, the moocher. Now, now this is where you go out for maybe drinks, and it's time to pay the bill. Well, what happens? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot my wallet. Mm -hmm. Well, if it happens once, it is what it is. If it happens again and again and again, well, that starts to become a problem. So, an easy fix here is to bring cash. And so, you know, when the bill comes around this time around, you say, "Well, this is all that I brought." Or you can say that I'm sticking to a budget. I had a friend, I called him alligator arms because he never could reach down <laughs> to his wallet. Um, okay, <laughs> the under earner. Or you could say, well, oh, hey, put your wallet away, Cameron's here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the second, yeah, the under earner's the next one. And, and this is a friend that doesn't make the same amount of money as everybody else in the group. Maybe they're unemployed or underemployed. But you shouldn't have to penalize your, that friend because, the, you know, they're in that boat. So find frugal fun. And there's a lot of fun things to do, especially in Des Moines or even West Des Moines. I was at the farmer's market yesterday. I spent maybe little to no money there. Mm -hmm. You can go out for coffee instead of uh, lunch or dine at the house instead of, you know, going out to, an, to a restaurant. And the other end of that, the overspender. Yes, the overspender. Now, this friend is also a lot of fun. Uh, they go big or mm -hmm. they go home. I mean, that's sort of <laughs> how it is. The most expensive restaurants, wine, that sort of thing. But you got to keep in mind, all those that lifestyle is all on a credit card, and there's fifteen thousand dollars on of debt, of credit card debt in this country. Uh, so you know, don't fall into that trap. Stick to a budget. Okay, and next we have the one upper, always trying to one up you. Yes, this friend is always competing against you, and you know, you buy a fifty-inch TV, they get a sixty. You get a Tahoe, they get an Escalade. It's just <laughs> one thing after another. But the key here is you need to look at the big picture. You know, look at paying down debt. In, you know, invest in your own retirement. Start putting money into savings because over the long term, it's not about the instant gratification today. It's about long term and, and becoming that big winner uh, at, you know, at the end of the race. And there's always the friend that says, just live for today. Live now. Why are we worried about tomorrow? He, yeah, that's the next. Yeah, but, you know, you've, it, it also ties into all of them, really. I mean, because, you know, we have all can kind of be guilty of all these different type of friends mm -hmm. here. It's just, you know... You know, sticking to your plan, what you want to do, and, and also how you want to get there. All right, Cameron, as always, thanks for coming in. You always give us some great food for thought. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Have a great day.